Hey gang, today we're going to build the sizable filter for our air conditioner unit. Uh, you'll notice um, in one of the previous videos we built a new filter base to go over the A-coil and since it's a custom size I decided I needed a custom size filter which we're going to build. And Sammy, our, uh, one of our one and a half year old kittens, almost one and a half, is going to be helping us today, apparently. <laughs> today it's pretty much, it's a, this is a web uh, lifetime adjustable echo filter, washable, reusable, filter, pollen, uh, dust, pet dander, etc. This one has pretty good instructions, talking about uh, sizing it and cleaning it, and has all the instructions on it, and uh, gives a description and all that good stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. Now get off the filter. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lay on the paper. There you go. The, uh, the basis of the filter is a really nice uh, square design here that you can stretch out uh, one way or the direction of the other. And it has little, uh, little holes that you just uh, lock into position where you need it. Or, you know, in worst case scenario, it's not exactly where it needs. You can get your drill out and uh, drill a hole to make it fit where you want. So that's what we're going to do. The uh, median side has the plastic uh, front and back uh, grill to give it uh, structural integrity. It has a, a plastic mesh uh, to catch the big stuff. Then it has the, uh, the foamish layer of whatever that's inside of it. Hey, hey, hey! To, uh, she chews everything. The other girl doesn't do that. Her sister doesn't do that. But, um, so we will do that. We're gonna, what we're going to do is start by taking our piece here and uh, sizing it according to the space that I need on the air conditioner uh, uh, filter base. All right, I've turned off the air conditioner and I'm going to pull the filters out that we have in here now. There we go. And we'll set this in here. Line up the back, line up the front. Yep, we're going to have to make some holes, I believe. And I want to stretch it kind of tight sideways, so it's snug there. And I have a paint pen here. Couldn't find my normal blue one. So we're going to use a paint pen, and I'm going to push it snugly this way. I'm just going to mark it right here. And do a little circle hole there. And this way as well. Here. I'm going to mark the length. Just for reference and a little circle. And then, so that's going to be the basis of it right there. We'll get the frame set, we'll pull it out, and uh, see about sizing and cutting the material. Now, the easiest way to do this, if you already have a filter that you're trying to replace with one of these, would be just to take your existing filter and lay the filter over the base size, line up your corners, and size it to where you need it, and then uh, put in your little push tabs. It has little push tabs. Uh, if you lose push tabs, you could probably use a sheet metal screw, a short one, or something just to hold the plastic together. But uh, we still have the tabs. Now, I'm going to have to drill out some holes, so uh, because this is not a standard size. So I just went through my drill bits, and I found one where the base of the drill bit would physically uh, fit into the little hole. And I know that that'll be just fine for what I'm going to use it for. Knowing already. Okay. Just hold it tight, I'm trying to hold it tight. So, in this case, you can see how the hole overlaps, and that's just kind of, I don't like that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to line up the hole, uh, my line, my long line here, and uh, pick a spot that is in between. So we're going to just mark it and drill a little bit back from the original hole and just make our own new hole. And we'll do that right here, and that's done. All right, I'm going to get a little tab out. And we'll pop our tab in, see if it'll fit. I think it'll fit. It'll press in uh, pretty well. Let's see. I don't want to force it in yet, so we'll do that. We'll mark our holes just to, uh, for reference. Pull our tabs out, and uh, we'll rinse and repeat, maybe speed the video up a little bit here with the little tabs, or uh, let's do it a little bit differently. What I'm going to do is uh, grab me four drill bits and position everything and just drop the drill bit in the slots to make it easy and hold everything in place. 
and uh, that way we can have an idea of where our filter uh, screens are going to sit. Let me stretch it out. Uh, I'm going to space it in just a little bit of a hair on the inside so we have a little gap room. And then I'll come over here and I'll mark where I'm going to cut these at. I'll cut it right about there. You can't put plastic back on easily. But you can take it off. Alright, so that's where we're going to cut it. I have a pair of uh, standard wire cutters. And once we get this snipped, we'll be able to take the other one and just kind of line it up along with it and and get it all in one shot. Uh, you could, uh, if you're having a spring summer checkup done and you want to switch to one of these, you could talk to your uh, HVAC company ahead of time and most of them will be more than happy trying to pick one up for you and, and build it and put it together for you for probably a nominal fee and uh, you won't have to fool with it yourself. All right, now we're going to test fit this. All right, I've retrimmed it. You can see all the little bits and pieces off the side over here. And I put it in, and I'm leaving the drill bits in this time to keep it in position. And like I said, if you were using a standard filter as your size, just laying the filter on top, it would have been a non-issue, but my filter base in there is not quite square because I was uh, working in a hole trying to shape it uh, at an odd angle. So, not quite uh, standard fare, if you will. So, let's try this again. I'm not sure which way is which on this, if this is the front or the back. So, we'll uh, play it by ear and see which side is which. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay, that's not bad. I have a little bit of extra over here. So, let me try flipping it around to see if it fits better the other way and uh, see what happens. So let's pull it back out here. Try and hold it with uh, one hand. I should have set up the camera, but I'm so far behind on doing my videos and I haven't edited anything. My wife was giving me the jazz last night. She said, uh, yeah, you talk about making all these videos and you do all the videos, but uh, they're not online yet. And I'm like, uh, yeah. That's true. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I might stretch this side out a little bit here. And I have a little uh, bit of extra space to work with. So I might spread this out. Do a little more coverage on the corner here. And uh, the backs don't look too bad. It's pretty close in the back over there. And pretty close in the back over there. And it's snug in this direction. So let me squeeze this out a little bit here. Like that. And uh, here. And I'll get a pin and remark this one, and we will uh, re-drill the hole real quick. So it looks like it's about one, one space worth off there. And uh, sorry, I'm not using my regular camera, so I'm trying to uh, <laughs> trying to. There we go. I'm using the SLR camera, so and it's not uh, auto focusing because I don't have the settings right because I never read the manual. So, uh, okay, let me get on that real quick, and then we'll install it after we cut the other section. Okay, actually, I don't have to re-drill the one. I'd stuck the, the uh, build drill bit in the wrong spot, which is another good reason for the little stripes that I painted on there. If I bothered to look, I would have seen those right away, and uh, it would have been a non-issue. So, let, uh, let's go ahead and pull this one out, and we'll trim the other one to match. And sweeping up the floor before my wife comes home and kills me. Because, you know, that's always important. Alrighty. Let's lay this one on top here. This was in here. I pull it like that? I thought I cut it like that. Let's just uh, lay it here. Now, we will take our section here and grab our fabric material here. Let's line it up a little better. I'm making a mess. Get our nylon fabric on top of this. You can wash these out and, uh, and or vacuum them. Uh, usually I do 
washable filters. Uh, of this kind, I'd probably take it outside and take a water hose to it. But uh, you can first hit it with, uh, depending on how dirty it is, hit it with a vacuum and suck all the cat hair, dog hair, people hair off of it. And then once you have the main uh, nasty stuff off it, that uh, you'll have trouble washing off the hose. You can take it outside and from the back side, the, uh, the clean side, just wash it out with a water hose up against the side of the house or uh, you know, just kind of tilt against the side of the house and wash it out. All right, I have it laid up on the corners pretty close here, maybe just a little bit of overlap. I'm going to line up my cardboard on the back side and kind of just run my pen along the, uh, the line here. here. Just kind of lay it in there to give me a little visual line. And once again, you can always not cut enough, but you don't want to cut too short. Yeah, let's stick with the scissors. All right, the bottom is in, so I'm going to stop real quick and uh, come down here, pop a rivet in, lock this one in. There we go, and let's see, the second one here, squeeze this down a little bit. Take a different approach here. Back this up, pull that out a little bit. I have duct taped it up. I'm going to try it again, and hopefully it'll install a little easier this time uh, with the tape on it, and I won't have to fight it as much. But uh, we're going to try and see if we can slide it in here a little bit easier with the tape on, and then I can pull off any residual tape that sticks out in my way uh, once. I have the whole thing put together. Now, see, that looks like it's going together a lot better already. Um, golly, I should have done that to begin with. This, the scotch tape was just not going to do it. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, perfect. Yep, I had the thing in backwards, and golly, the duct tape is awesome. So, <laughs> how long did I... Well, you don't even see all the stuff I edited out, or I will be editing out here shortly. So, uh, <laughs> the duct tape is definitely the way to go. Okay, all the rivets are in place. Make sure they're popped in pretty good here. Um, I think so, mostly. There we go. Make sure they're popped in nice and tight. Put your fingers underneath the lip to feel for them. And uh, make sure they're snapped in well. And if you do duct tape, just go ahead and reach in and, and uh, rip it off. Or, uh, I'm going to tell you what, just take a... Take a knife or scissors or something and try and lift it up a little bit. Just cut it out of the way. And uh, that way you're not restricting any airflow, but try not to cut the actual mesh or anything. And, you know, the instructions, the instructions may give us some better ideas. I didn't read them. Uh, I know you're shocked. But, uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Kind of like a computer, you know? Read the manual. Don't read the manual. Read the manual when all else fails. RTFM. Beautiful. Alright. Done. Done, 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 done. Now, we will go put the filter in, and we'll be finished with this project. And I think it'll catch just fine. Alright. Is that besides which? Oh, that's backwards. So, great for custom size filters, and uh, beautiful, nice and tight all the way around, beautiful, 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 all right. Uh, I appreciate it, thanks for watching my video, sorry if it's out of focus a little bit with this last bit of uh, video here, and hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to your comments, likes, favorites, sharing, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll look forward to putting out some more videos pretty soon. Thanks.